Okay guys, I've been looking at getting these ever since I bought this truck, 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. Um, if you have one of these trucks, you know the, uh, the on the mirrors, the turn signals, they come on and they run as a, a parking lot, running lot, but they don't flash with your turn signals. That's where this comes in. It's about 60 bucks, uh, probably plus shipping and handling. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And instead of having to tear the whole mirror down, you're supposed to be able to pull the door panel off and um, tap into the wiring in the door there. And it's supposed to be a pretty easy deal. I've, I've seen videos on it over the years, but I'm going to dig into it and I'll show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and do the first one and I'll show you guys how I do the second one. They're both pretty much the same. I'm going to do the best I can with this. This is the driver's side door. I was going to go ahead and try to get this one done. So bear with me because I've never pulled this door panel off before. But from what I've seen, you go right up under this little panel right here and pull. There's that. I just let it fall on the ground and I'll pick it up. There is another one in here. You see the little tab? And I rotate my pick. It came right out as well. You just took both hands. That thing is in there. It is pretty much a lot more force than I plan on having to put on it. that all right so the reason that we did that is there is supposed to be a seven millimeter screw right here so I'm going to go ahead and get that one or maybe no it's way down in there so I'm gonna go ahead and get that one out there's one right here and there's two right here you can see that I'm gonna go ahead and get those out First thing is how it's the hardest to get at. But I wished I'd have gotten a magnet. Yeah, let's go ahead and get these out. Don't worry about getting that out. Here's that one. in here. I'm trying to pull it out with the pick right quick, but I may not be successful. <clears throat> oh yeah. There's four. Two more underneath the door. Let's see if I can show you these two right here. is right there and another right here I'm going to get those two out I love these things. I hate using the pick even on small stuff because I'm always nervous that I'm going to mar the plastic or, and I hate that one after it's after the plastic gets all marred up. And I'll leave a link to these two. It's a set of four and I'm not really sure which one I'm going to need. Get up underneath it, just give it a, just snatch it really good. Any door that I've ever done is in the same way. It's like everybody's trying to get everything done right before it rains, but it's been trying to rain all day and we haven't seen any yet. So no. I've got a couple of more. Here, I think. And a couple more back here. 
I pulled this out past this and it allowed it to slip up past the door lock. And when I did that, this back slid back so that should make it easier for me to get that off. I'll slide this. on top of the truck this here you can see this I press down on this and pull back to release it bring it around and slide it up just like that and then this connector right here push that back push that that little black piece in and roll this up this should pull right out but I'm going to use both hands on it It started raining on me and I closed everything up then the rain went away and hopefully I can get both doors done before the uh, rain comes back. I had unplugged this, this black connector right here and I took a pick and there was some like little rubber bands around here that I used like this one. I just took the pick and pried those rubber bands off. There's two more right here that go on this to keep that in place. And what I did is I pulled it back, I took a razor blade, slit the rubber around the wiring up to where I could get to everything. <clears throat> and then there's two, two parts to this. I'm going to show you on the other door. The other, you get two packages. One has got this. One has got this. So you'll take these. Again, working with one hand, so bear with me. And you'll have two of these little T taps. Okay. Now, first thing I did was went ahead and plugged the two harnesses together like that. Just push it together, make sure it firmly seats. There, I heard that one click. Okay. When you do that, this is the output. This is what's going to your turn, your marker light on the truck, which is normally a con constant hot. Then you throw it on the ground. <coughs> and then, and then you have the other side. This got another orange wire and a black wire and a blue wire. I'm assuming these are the same on both sides. I mean, it's kind of limited in instruction. I had a really good video that I watched just to make sure because I don't want to mess anything up. So this is the yellow wire coming out of the plug. And it's also the one that has the other wires. That's your input, okay? So you take the yellow wire on the input side and go to the yellow wire coming out right here. And this top, well, they say this white right here indicates the bottom, the top left hand wire, the orange wire, or yeah, orange wire. So you cut it and then use the butt connector and crimp on to the plug side. Then the black wire all the way across front with a white stripe. I tapped into it and with the T-tap, which you just take and lay the wire in this side and then fold it over onto the wire and squeeze it till it clicks and you put the black wire plug the black wire into that t-tap right here then I took the red wire directly under the orange wire all the way to the bottom put another t-tap on it the red wire I think it's red, red and white no it's red and blue. Yeah. 
the one directly underneath and plugged in a T-tap on it, plugged the blue wire. When I did that, I wished I would have got these offset so they could have been tidied up a little bit better, but I will tidy it up. I'll tape it up and get it looking nice while I put it back together. But the end result is that's got my, my parking lights on. lit like normal and I'm just going to turn the full way flashers on and now she's flashing so that's pretty much exactly what I wanted they're both in town yeah so this is that's what I wanted so, I'm figuring this out for the first time on myself. I did this video just to kind of show, you know, if I can do it, anybody can do it. But do not take my word for this stuff. I don't know your truck. I don't know. I barely found the instructions for myself because it's a very long. Here's what they give you for instructions. And if you can see that screenshot it, blow it up, there's your instructions. So... Um, yeah, I'm not trying to do a how-to video by any means. I was just showing my experience in the install and how it worked for me. But yeah, so now I will go ahead and get started putting this stuff back together. I have moved on. The other door over there is completely put back together and finished. And when I came over here, it's exactly identical the same. One thing you don't want to do, see where the indention is in the door right here. Don't tape this up. I had to take it back apart move it because I had taped it right here and that puts this stuff in a bind. This is supposed to tuck really flat so try to do it down here and get all, I'll show it again when I get this all uh, cleaned up. But one thing I didn't want, want to go ahead and point on, I tried to put this the door panel back on with the weather stripping right here without taking it off the door panel and putting it back on here first. That's not that didn't work out for me at all. So what you have to do is pop these little clips out of the back of the door panel, which they can be aggravating, but they just squeeze together and pull out. Slide them back on. Let me see if I can get this back off and I'll show you. You can see the there's little places they fit right here. So go ahead and slide all those on. Then your weather strip them will slide right back down in here like this, tapered on the ends that to fit back in and then the door panel you slide the, the front end first and it's really hard for me to do with one hand slide the front end first and then drop the back end as it goes and once it slides down far enough you gotta be careful because you gotta fish this in too once it goes down far enough that will pop on okay so I'm gonna clean this up and I'll start on putting the door panel back on all right, I'm gonna do as much as I can one-handed on the camera. Hey. And just drop this little ball right back down in here. Pull it around and pin it in the slot. That's on. Down here. I need to get a little better shot of that. This comes in kind of at an angle. Make sure you do not bend any of those pins. That would be focused on anything but this right here seating in that rubber strip and making sure my door lock that I just dropped comes up through that hole firmly and 
Maybe we'll wiggle it around a little bit and it will pop in place. Just like it just did. So that's got this back on and it's got a pretty good that yeah, actually looks better than it did before I took it off. It used to have a rise on it right here real hard. The rest of it back together just like a can part, which is basically just not the pins back in. When I typed in the link on the packaging for the instructional video, it kept coming up page not found, but I did find it on YouTube originally from Boost Auto, so I'm going to leave a link for that in the description along with anything else that I think may help you with uh, your installation. I hope that the video was informative. I had never even taken the door panels off one of these trucks before. I do apologize for it kind of being all over the place, working with one hand, trying to work between the rain showers and all that stuff. Yeah, I got it done, but uh, I wish I could get a little better quality. I hope you got what you're looking for. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.